Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can create an office layout plan. So I'm on the new screen and I'm going to scroll down and find office layout. Now I've got it there as well because I've recently used it, but if I just click on this one and then create a blank plan. So the stencils that you get on this template are as follows. So you've got quick shapes as always, you've got cubicles, you've got office accessories, equipment, furniture, and then walls and doors with windows. So what I'm going to do is build up a room, put some equipment in it, and then do the same with the space feature as well, and put some equipment on that. And during this process, we'll look at, obviously, the scale and dimensions of the building, also how to layer shapes so that you don't accidentally move a wall, for example, if you've got lots of sockets plugged into it, so they're all glued together. So the first bit I'm going to do is just to pull on a room shape, and immediately you get the dimensions sit there but I want to click on the view tab and look at the task panes and I want the shape data is not open at the moment but I'll click it on and then you've got shape data there which gives you the some dimensions but I also want the size and position window which is this this floats and you can dock it if you want but basically it's telling me how big this is and I want to change this to a four meter by five meter room. Now let's do it the other way around because I don't like it going like that. Let's do five and four. Five meters by four, just so it sits on the screen nice and neat on the page and then you can get it on the page like that. So there it is. Now I don't need shape data so I'm just going to get rid of that and move this across a little bit. So what you've got are walls, windows, doors, etc., etc., which you can then just position onto this. So let's do a door. So let's say there's a door there, and the door measurement is 90 centimetres, or it says 900 millimetres there. So if your door, for example, your door frame was a one metre, you just type in there one metre, and then that would move on to being one metre, and then you can just push that wherever you want it to go. And this little yellow circle is the actual door opening so you can have it opening to that wall there so you're coming into the room like that and you just need to position that now let's do a window and again if i just let go of a window on the wall 900 is the default let's go for 1200 or 1.2 and then that'll just open up like so and we'll just put a few windows in this room and we'll make them all 1200 just to be standard and then we've got a nice airy room 1200 and one last one on that wall at the top 1200 now I'm not going to do a dividing wall but I could do this is quite a small room to be honest but I'm just going to put some furniture in here and let's have a look at what we've got office furniture now when you buy office furniture, it will have a measurement. When you buy it, it will say how big the tabletop is, etc, etc, size and width. So when you get that table, if you're then representing that table in a diagram like this, you have to ma make sure the measurements of this match up to with what you've bought. So let's go for 60 centimetres by 1200 centimeters Let's see how big that is no, not 1200 120 that's it so that's the size of a table that Microsoft rep uh, recommends that you use if you're going to do some IT training and you want to be recognized by Microsoft as a training center for example so there's the chair there's a table should I say now it needs a chair, so we've got some chairs here, desk chairs, that you can just position into each of these desks, like so. So that's just sitting there nice and neat. So the actual space somebody would need is, is this space plus this space, so that's the actual space. So what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to group these two together. In fact, before I do that, let's put a, a computer on there, let's get some equipment. So office equipment. 
so we've got telephone fax machine uh, pc so that's all so we probably want a notebook laptop say so that's more common nowadays and where else is there we've got telephone telephone jack telephone itself so if, if the thing you're looking for is not in the stencil what you've got up there is shape so you can just type telephone to see if there's anything that pops up on search that you can use as long as it's not going to be too big so that's just telephone jack telephone symbols telephone call that is a telephone but our big thing. okay we'll do that that's a digital telephone oh, that'll do and then you have to kill this off to get back to your stencil so just click the cross get rid of it and then your your normal stencil will come back so now we've got a set that i want so i can just group that so i've highlighted it right click group and then that becomes one one set of table chair computer etc that you can then use to to replicate so if i do control d that will do another so these duplicates so then you can make sure you've got enough space between the two now how do i know how much that is there you need to get a measuring tool so if i type measure up there you've got a measuring tool so there's different ones you can use that what happens if i bring this in so what does this measure so i want to measure that gap so that's saying so i want that to be one meter so let's say one meter so length 1m so one meter is quite a long way actually so maybe one meter is a bit bit of a big gap so half a meter is that enough 600 let's go for 600 millimeters so 600 it's just a bit more than half a meter but that's probably enough space to get through so then i can position that one there now whether i've got enough space to have another set of if I do control D again, duplicate, and let's see if I can put that in there. So I can probably bang this to the actual wall. Don't really need. Let's see if I if I copy this. I do control D on this. So I get two of those. Sit that there. And that was absolutely amazing that that fits exactly. So that's what you do with measurement tools. So this is more of a realistic um, layout. So I can get three desks across like that. Now, if I highlight these three and do control D I don't think I'm going to get another three sitting above if I have clicked off them now so I'll get, I definitely won't get three so I might get two so if I just click on that and click on that one and then I don't know what's happened here with this so I'll get rid of that I don't want that on there so, so it's copied everything so I've got this I only want one so that's 600 606 so let's make that six 600 exactly millimeters um right so i've got five desks in here and then in, you've got some sort of desk for the for the tutor at the front or maybe you don't have a desk you just have people wandering around but for now that's all i want to do for the desks you're restricted to the size of this room that's the problem now if i close this search box down and then go to the office equipment you've got other things there like nothing i want to use but these powerpoints let's have a look at a powerpoint so these are going to obviously stick into the wall so i need to spin that round so this is basically plug sockets like so so if i just grab a few of these and just position them around the wall so we can just sit them on the wall like so and then i'll just do one more round the back here and then rotate it around so we've got them actually attached to the wall come click on that and just come off a bit that's it and then telephone point let's say there's a telephone point so that needs to come out a bit in fact down a bit i think it goes like that that's okay and uh, what else can i have monitor projection screen right there's no way to put this screen attach it to the wall but i can sit it at the front so i can still have it there so it's going to be free for everybody to see and then there's nothing else i want on there over a projector i'm not bothered about that but you probably would have one so office accessories so this is a training room not necessarily going to have anything in there definitely not a pool table but you could have maybe the odd plant stuck in the corner there just to make it look a bit more 
friendly. But all of that, I want to lock down and make a layer. So if I move anything by accident, it doesn't move. So if I just do control A, so everything is selected, go back to home and then click on layers. So we've got assigned to layer, layer properties. So if I click on layer properties, these are the layer properties. Let's cancel that for a minute. If I go assigned to layer, I, I, what I need to do is new and I'll call this layer Steve and then OK and then OK again. And then if I go back into layer properties, I should see Steve, Steve, and then you can lock Steve down. Click OK to that. And then all of this is in position. So you've now got this set in stone. So anything else you put on top of this um, won't affect that. So if I just do that, so you can see, so if I go back to office furniture, see what else I can put in there. Um, what can I put in there? Stool. Yeah, the trainer, the trainer, the teacher can have a stool to sit there. He doesn't need anything else. But that stool is movable. None of this is. I can't click on this. I could ungroup the layer and add this to the layer if I wanted to. I might not want everything laid down, but what you've got there, these jacks, you don't want these moving off the wall. You've put them there. That's where they're at. You know, you've got there. You can also use the measuring tool again to measure the distance between things. But that's that's how this this works and how you should build it up layer upon layer upon layer. And then you end up having a, a document that's just set and nothing can happen to it. It's going to knock it out of sync. So office accessories, nothing in there, really. Coat rack. Uh, I don't want a coat rack here, let's put a coat rack up there, spin that round and then just use the arrow key to sit it against the wall there so there's a coat rack. So that's basically a very quick video of how you can use Microsoft Visio to create an office layout plan. So hopefully this video has been of use to you, thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.